Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you my five favorite features of Canva Documents, the new document creation tool from Canva. And you can see here, I'm already in my Canva account. I want to create a new document. So I'll just go to Doc and I can start writing on a blank untitled design. And this one I'm going to call Report on Interesting Things. And I'll just type up here, Report on Interesting Things. Now, by default, that used the heading for my heading, but I could change it out and use any other type of font, including this body font. And you can see here, I could also go in here and copy and paste and link to that specific section. And if I wanna change out that font style, go away from the Canvas Sans, I could use the blogger font. And now I have that one and I'm gonna turn off the bolding for that. And there's my report on interesting things. Now, my first favorite feature here in Canva is when I go to add a new paragraph just by hitting the return key or the enter key on my keyboard, I can continue to write things, but I can also insert anything that I've previously created in Canva into my document. So if I go to my projects on the left-hand side here, I can go to all of my previous projects. Now, if it's buried in my archives, I can search through it. But in this case here, I know if I scroll down just a little bit, I'll get my presentation on 10 ways to use Google Classroom or Google Earth in your classroom. And that now inserts my slideshow into the document for me. And we can actually scroll through the slideshow within the document itself, which is a really nice way to add a little multimedia into the document. Now, speaking of adding multimedia into the document, you can embed all kinds of multimedia from outside of Canva into your document as well. For example, just go to this plus symbol and let's now embed and I want to embed a YouTube video. So I'm gonna grab a link to a YouTube video and paste it in there. So let's say I found this video on YouTube. I'm going to paste it in. And we're now going to see that video from YouTube is included in my document. And I can do the same thing with Google Maps. Let's say I found this Google Map view of the Empire State Building. Let's go ahead and copy that link there. And we'll insert that into our document. So again, I'll just go in here, select the embed option and paste in the link. And we'll now have that Google map view in the Canva document itself. Now, my next favorite feature here in Canva is when you go to this add magic button, if you scroll down, you will see there's a timer. And I like the ability to set a timer. Let's say I want to make sure that I get started writing and I want to write for five minutes uninterrupted. I'll just start that timer and I'll have that on my left hand side so that I continue to write for the entire five minutes before I look away from my screen. Now I can always reset it. If I wanna add time to it, of course I can. If I wanna change it and make it just three minutes long, you can see I can do that as well. And we have an option for a speaker or sound chime to play when that's done. Now, another feature and one that I featured in a separate video earlier, let's say that we want to use some more writing tools here in Canva. So let's say, here we go with 
my next writing tool. And that is just some body text. I'll say the Empire State Building is in New York City. But maybe I've run out of ideas for things to say about the Empire State Building. So what I'll do next is I'll use this magic write. And I'm going to type in interesting things about the Empire State Building. And this will now use the artificial intelligence that's called Magic Write in Canva to generate some interesting things about the Empire State Building. Again, that feature is called Magic Write, and that's available right inside Canva documents. Now, my last, my fifth favorite feature about Canva documents. I'll show you by creating a brand new document here, and that is the document templates. So far, I just used the blank template, but I'm gonna go here to templates and say, see all, and we'll see there is a bunch of different document templates, including some for class notes, goal tracking, You'll even find one for lesson plan right there that you can then modify and call it something like my awesome lesson plan or whatever else you'd like to title your lesson plan. So those are five features of Canva documents that I really like. And as always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.